you know? Do you know? What? Welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of RPGs, JRPGs, MMOs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that is everything that we do here. Uh, so we are coming out of a sad tragedy that I'm still still not okay with. Very, very, very upset about, honestly. <laughs> no! I'm just gonna have to be a single warrior of light with my my cats and my little Lala fell that helps keep my home clean. It's like my house elf. <laughs> and that's gonna be my existence <laughs> because my husband died. Oh no. <laughs> no. I <laughs> we must press on with our mission. Tataru, pray return to your duties at the Forgotten Night. Let us go speak go and speak with Sir Emmerich, Burr. I worry for his well being. They just walked behind me and disappeared. Where did they go? Is he? What are you doing? Do you think you're so much better than this? So rude. An audience with the Lord Commander. Yes. Yes, of course. My friends, I am in your debt. Think nothing of it. The wounds are healing well, I trust. Some wounds do not heal. Don't mind me, just, uh, gonna travel to another dimension for a second. The Founding. The scriptures a thousand years of lies, all to deceive the common man. Nay, our own brothers and sisters. For the blood of the Knights Twelve flows within all our veins. You knew this to be true. You knew, and you concealed it. I should be interested to hear how you came by this knowledge. But yes, you have the right of it. Man, I knew this guy was evil the moment we saw him. It says, tell me who told you so I can The architects kill of Ishgard, <laughs> King Thorden and his knights twelve, entrapped and butchered the great worm, Ratatoske, that they might partake of her eyes and thereby transcend their mortal limits. Upon learning of their treachery, Nidhogg was consumed with a murderous and justified rage. I dare say you know what followed. The Great Worm slew the king and half of his knights. Aye, but Nidhogg was subdued, and his eyes plucked from their sockets by the knights that remained. Their one mistake was to show mercy. For from his brother Hreisvelger did Nidhogg receive a new eye, thus rejuvenating his form and empowering him to embark upon an eternal quest for vengeance. I like that he's just like, yeah, they did that because, you know, they just were power hungry. It's so, so evil. Whilst Thordan's son Haldreth took one of Nidhogg's eyes and learned to wield its power in defense of his people. Thus was the first Azure Dragoon born, and ever since that time, his honored successors have risen to drive Nidhogg from our lands whenever the worm has returned to plague us. I ask you, my son, 
Will you answer for my sins? Will your son and his son answer for me as well? What do you mean? If a man cannot atone for his sins in the course of his all too fleeting life, must his progeny then be held to account? Must every subsequent generation be judged as well? Thorin's betrayal of Ratatoska was an unconscionable, unforgivable sin. Should we then, as his descendants, meekly surrender ourselves to an eternity of punishment? Nay, say I, I would not see our children sacrificed in a vain attempt to appease an implacable foe. Well, he has a lot of nice words that he could use, doesn't he? Dragons are not like us, my son. To they who live forever, the wrongs of antiquity are as those of yesterday. No reparations shall ever suffice. This fact alone should serve as ample justification for our actions. Yet some refuse to see it as such. For men like you, who yearn to commit themselves to a nobler cause, a more compelling narrative is required. This is your solution. This is how you protect our people. You have given us a lost cause, a death sentence, with your compelling narrative. You but doom our countrymen to give their lives for a lie. And they do so gladly. Highborn and lowborn alike are proud to serve, to fight and die for their country. Mothers who have lost their sons, that their loved ones died for naught. I... Uh... Over the course of a thousand years, Countless men have donned these robes, and every one of them came to accept the necessity of this solution. Once, I hoped you might come to accept it as well. Does he really mean that? I don't know about him. I can't trust anything else. Do not despair, me. my son. If he has spoken with others, I would have their names. Escort him to a cell and question him. Thoroughly. Just a little interrogation? That they Your Eminence. <laughs> oh. At least he kind of was prepared. He knew this would happen. What a great plot technique. <laughs> it's just like, simple. This is how I'll describe what they don't see going on. They get headaches and to see the past and... Uh, you saw something, did you not? Uh, yeah. A vision of the past? A vision of the past! So this is the power of the Echo. Would that it had shown you a finer moment from my past. It was an exercise in futility, as you saw. Faced with the firmity of his conviction and his many ready rejoinders, my words deserted me. To be frank, I am embarrassed to recall it. Oh, that's okay. You tried. I would do worse. I would have a done worse. A friend once impressed upon me the importance of differentiating between words, deeds, and beliefs. Were he here, I suspect he would judge your father's conviction to be no more than rank, self-serving delusion. Even so, I cannot help but wonder what manner of change he intends to bring about. I have given some thought to that as well. During the battle within the vault, the Heaven's Ward demonstrated strange and unnatural abilities. Aye, the manner in which Sir Zephyrin struck down Lord Horshafon was unlike anything I've ever seen before. The spectacle called to mind King Thordon and his Knights Twelve as they are depicted in scripture. Holy powers and all. Mere fabrications. 
which have become objects of faith, instilled with the belief of countless devoted souls. Seven hells! If Lady Iceheart <laughs> can use her own body as a vessel for summoning, I see no reason why others could not. Da, da, da. Are the Heaven's Ward truly so reckless? Unbelievable. Is that even a question? <laughs> like what? As they fled, my father spoke of Aziz La. Though I know not what he intends, I fear no good shall come of it. His ambitions are too great, and his minions too powerful. We must find the Heaven's Ward and stop my father before it is too late. Most reasonable people I think we've met so far. Mistress Lynn, Master Alfredo, I, Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights of Ishgard, do hereby entreat the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Our aid in preventing whatever it is that the Archb Archbishop intends. Your aid in bringing him to justice. Too much blood has been spilled for the lies he, perp per he perpetuated. No more. Uh, I shall pursue him to the end of the world if I must. Life for death. I will have Sir Zephyrin's heart for what he did to Horshafont. That's worth saying. That's my hubby. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Yes, yes, of course. You two were close, I know. <laughs> you, you know? Do you know? <laughs> Much has changed since our order's founding, but our duty to combat that rival threat has not. If the Archbishop and the Heaven's Ward are guilty of the crime of summoning, then Burr and I will stop them. Would that I could join you in the pursuit, but alas, my father's absence has thrown our government into chaos. He always has a, an excuse, doesn't he? Jeez. Ever since the founding of our nation, there has been an Archbishop to serve as a guiding light for the masses, a force for stability to counterbalance the High House's ceaseless maneuvering. Convincing the people to recognize the truth of our origins would have been difficult even with my father's support. The road ahead is that much more fraught with peril without it. Yet walk it we must, for unity is more vital to our sur survival than ever. After all, Ethog's death did not mark the cessation of Dravidian hostilities. Far from it, we will have the great need of each other in the days to come. You may ever count on my lance, Sir Emmerich. To my dying breath, I shall defend Ishgard from the Horde. If I may, Lord Commander, I would like to assist the Scions in their search for the Ar Archbishop. Burr, Master Alphano, pray attend me outside. Oh, she gonna come with us. Very well. With me, Burr, I believe we have much to discuss. Say what a revolution. <laughs> Yay! The Soleil was eastward bound, so I sent word to Camp Cloudtop on the off chance the airship passed nearby. Sure enough, Lady Lydia informed me that I had been sighted by her scouts, that the Archbishop is somewhere in the Sea of Clouds. Or was, not long ago. The airship has not been seen since it disappeared in the northern reaches near the Blue Window. Alas, because the region is firmly held by the Vanu Vanu and not easily accessible from Camp Cloudtop, House Hellenart has yet to establish a foothold. We will, not need a, we will need not only an airship, but a captain bold enough to risk the Beastman's wrath. Oh, I may have one of those. Handy. Uh, I think we both know the perfect candidate, Burr. Let us pay a visit to Master Garland at the Sky Steel Manufactory. I see. Then I will take my leave for now. There are other matters with which require my attention. I love this little pig. I want him. That's adorable. Okay, gotta go see Sid. Ah, the dastardly duo. What mischief have you two been getting up to lately? 
Oh, you know. You haven't heard, have you? I hardly know where to start. He was a good man. Tid, have you ever heard of Aziz... Azizla? The Archbishop spoke of it before he fled. No, but it's probably some source of phenomenal cosmic power that's key to his plans. <laughs> Itty bitty living space. <laughs> what he told Burr, the Askins tried to tempt him as they tempted Gaius with the ultimate weapon. Even if he spoke true about playing along, I can see him attempting to seize it. As if we needed another reason to pursue him. Well, I'm convinced. The Enterprise is at your disposal. Come to the airship landing when you're ready to depart. <laughs> it's just as well. After pulling you out of the fire these last few times, I reckoned I was due to deliver you into it. Into the fire, is it? In that case, I should have formed touch of your about plans. Pray go ahead. Go on ahead to the airship landing. I shall join you anon. I love going into the fire. This way. Maybe? Maybe? Ah, it's in. <laughs> Who needs stairs? <laughs> it's not me, not when you're a warrior of light. The boys have been hard at work preparing for our flight, and I'm pleased to say we are ready to depart. That is, as soon as a certain... Ah. Here he is. Pray forgive me my lateness. Tataru and I had much to discuss. We still have no news of the missing scions, but she assures me that Rialge and Rio are pursuing promising leads. Come, come. We can continue this discussion aboard the Enterprise. <laughs> to the Enterprise. Duh. What? Conebet. The Conem? It's an interesting name. Oh, the names. Never cease to amaze me. To the northern reaches of the Sea of Clouds, where countless isles yet remained uncharted. In search of a mysterious land known as Azizla, and the unmasked villain who sought to claim its secrets. Oblivious to the new threat which followed in their wake, they came. A threat in a place like this? It looks so beautiful, though. Can't possibly be anything evil here, eh? The blue window. I've always wanted a blue window. From here, Camp Cloudtop looks rather far. <clears throat> be on your guard, but the value could be anywhere, even watching us as we speak. Assuming the soul lay is here, I doubt she will come to us. We should begin searching the isles in earnest. Of course, we must remain vigilant for Vanu scouts as well. I would rather avoid needless bloodshed. Oh my gosh, this is kind of scary, eh? Gods, look at them. So many isles, so many places to hide. No, we must not lose hope. He is out there, Burr, and we will find him. Gotta look out, my dumb self. Search the skies for the soleil, but see nothing resembling the missing airship. Oh.
Mayhap this effort was doomed to failure. No, don't give up, Alfie. Big's mercy of Netherlings does not fight, does not wish to die. Was that a Vanu being attacked? But by whom? Oh. Over there. Imperial troops. Oh boy. These guardians. Seize them. They'll know where the Archbishop is. These guys. I am so over these guys. The enemy of my enemy. We've no choice. With me, bruh. Protect the Vanu. Whips out his book. The enemy of my enemy. No. All of that for why? For what reason? This poor bird guy is just trying to like, I don't know, get home. Look at this purple monster man. He's too cute. Netherlings save Lord Uvanu from sort of death. Showers Netherlings with things like summer squall. Lord Uvanu knows not what wind bears Netherlings to Cloud Sea, but warmly welcomes them. Shows gratitude where gratitude is due. Huh. So well mannered and civilized. Lord Uvanu owes much and more to Netherlings. As saviors, as heroes, Zundu welcomed you. To village we go, to north. Come, come. So the Gallians were searching for the Archbishop and believed that the Vanu Vanu knew something of his whereabouts. Methods notwithstanding, they may have had the right of it. But I conclude that we should accept Lanu Vanu's offer of hospitality and visit his village. They may have had the right of it. Now it's framed. That's neat. Okay. <laughs> like breeze guides leaves to rest. Come and lay down your burdens, netherlings. Lodu Vodu th throws wide arms in greeting. Behold, Aksundu. Fine. A far warmer welcome than the one you've received from the Voodoo, I think. The Voodoo. Ha! Voodoo bluster blow hither and yon. Sound and fury like aimless gale. Eh? What unseen lightning begets the thunderous report? There you are. Did you see it? It's a damn flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Oh yeah, that whale. Where? The white? He's wounded. the 12th. Did he just eat that island? Oh, insatiable white. Oh, devourer of worlds. Why must you torment us? <laughs> bah, Lord Uvalu wastes no more words on his unfathomable be unfathomable deeds. <laughs> come, Netherlings. Come and break words with Chief Azundu. This is fun. I like the style of their buildings, their architecture. I love that they did, like, every beast tribe kind of has their own style of architecture and, you know, different beliefs and stuff. It's really cool. With wisdom deep as others and eyes clear as cloudless blue, Sodu Vanu speaks for Zundu, hearken to his words. Ooh, like his crown. His horns. 
The other legs deliver Lodo Vado from clouds of steel shod fiends and prove nobility. He knows not to ignore Zephyr winds and brings before you with all haste. Soft rains to soothe the heart and sunshine to warm. Gratitude of Soda Chief of Zundu is boundless. We are honored to meet you, Chief Sonu. I am Elfenor Livilio, and these are my companions, Berlin and St. Garland. I really wish I had chosen a different name. <laughs> we are coming in search of an airship, a flying vessel of the nethers, which we believe is somewhere in the cloud sea. Ah, like to black steel shod contraption from which you save Radu Vanu? Alas, no. The ship belongs to the Garlean Empire, an old enemy of ours, though not the enemy we are looking for at present. We have a lot of enemies. <laughs> the men we seek wear armor of purest white and are led by an older man in white robes. Wait! Lord of Anu, you tell of the, these never, netherlings? You do? Are you certain? As sun rises and falls and returns, we are. Soon do scouts can testify to words of Lodu Vanu. Aye, aye. Winds carry purpose of netherlings to our ears as well. Netherlings seek key to Azizla. That one's... They look huge. Oh my gosh. Now we're getting somewhere. Tell us, Chief Sonu, what exactly is this Azizla? Beware, netherlings, for blackest clouds portend greatest danger. Look not into heart of tempest. tempest. There lies ancient birthplace of sin, home of forbidden secrets. To speak more is to call the wind. But the white devours isles where key is kept. Deep within bowels of mighty Bismarck it lies beyond reach of the foolhardy. Oh no. And beyond ours. We trust not in his gluttony, Lolo Vanu, as far as stone gives way to water and wind, all yields to the white. This he knows, Chief Sonu. Madness of voodoo bodes ill for all Vanu. Voodoo Vanu Vanu. <laughs> all I know is that whale ate the island, an entire island, and that's where the key was. And, uh, I don't know, are we gonna have to go inside the whale? Do a little, like, Jonah action over here. So, Aziz La is home to forbidden secrets, accessible only to the bearer of a key which the Archbishop covets. Much as I would like to believe it's safe within the belly of Bismarck, the Knights of the Heavens Ward wield primal powers. If we do not slay the whale and claim the key first, they surely will. Quite how well we go about it is another matter. As was the case in our battle with Leviathan, we are out of our element, and this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, our customary approach still holds true. We must begin by learning more about the white. Let us each question the residents of the village, then regroup and share our findings. Anon. Anon. By the twelve. Hello. Tell me everything you know, giant birdman. If other things seek knowledge of the white, then speak with Kuno Valley, foremost keeper of tales. But neglect not to present self with humility and respect. As sun yields to moon and moon to sun, other things must greet Kuno Valley with a bow. Chocobo time. Curtsy. Zephyr winds at your back and sunshine to warm your brow, traveler from below. Kuno Valley, keeper of tales, hears your words and she remembers. In times long ago, I had I lands elsewhere before even the cloud sea. The white is one among many. Newborn, he swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated the white is, for his brothers are purest black. So great is their contempt, their loathing, that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again, for merciful gods raised him to the heavens, and there he is reborn. Oh, a poor little whale. 
The white still longs for the sea to which he cannot return, but in rebirth a splinter of the divine is shared, and so he opens his maw. From whence came, come the clouds, and a new sea is born, home to him alone. Content, he gazes below, and sees others who are as he, hated and hunted. He weeps, and in his benevolence he raises up isles of earth and guides these people to the cloud sea. Such is the tale of his rebirth, and the salvation of the Vanu, may it never be forgot. But this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of the Voodoo, his hunger that of a wild beast. The isles are his gift to us, yet now he must consume them? Kuri Valley knows no tales like this. Yes, yes. Nod. So, according to the Vanu Vanu, the Sea of Clouds and the Floating Isles were gifts from Bismarck to his people. Gifts which he has taken to eating, yes. Technically within his rights, I suppose, if perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. But what of you, Alphanot? Did you learn aught of value? Alas, no. That is, unless you have an interest in the in intricacies of Vanu sky fishing. Sky fishing? My god, that's it! Alphadon, my boy, I could kiss you! <laughs> I don't know, he might like that. He's so, like, way. From what we have observed, Bismarck is a creature of pure instinct, driven primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, it fled, but not before devouring another island to restore its strength. What I propose is this. We tow a suitably appetizing island through the Sea of Clouds, in essence fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, we shall use dragon killers to fire grapnels into the beast's hide, and then reel it in close, enabling our resident Icon Slayer to engage it directly. A bold plan, Master Garland, but an exceedingly dangerous one. Should Burr fail to subdue the creature, she would almost certainly be eaten, along with the rest of your appetizing island. <laughs> appetizing island. She's like, yeah. Oh, she won't fail, and if anything does go wrong, I'll be at the helm of the Enterprise, ready to tow her out of trouble. I wouldn't entrust a task like this to anyone else. Nor I. I trust you have no objections to my joining you as well. Not at all, the more the merrier. Right then, it seems the boys and I have a lot of work to do if the Enterprise is to be ready for our fishing trip, while you two need to find me some bait. And not just any island, mind. I want a mouthful at most. What does- what makes an appetizing island? Like, what do you look for? Well, you heard it. We need an island to beat the hook. By way of a first step, I propose we speak with Chief Sonu. If the Zundu are as concerned by Bismarck's behavior as they have given us to believe, they may well be supportive of our efforts to slay him. <laughs> Bolt Shaded Island. Get it? Cause like, hook, line, and sinker. But not. Hello, Chief. The Tramontade is upon us. The White Feasts and the Voodoo rejoice in his carnage. Hear me, Chief Sonu. This creature which torments you now is not the deity who raised up the floating isles and made a gift of them to you. He is a perversion of your beliefs given form by the Voodoo, a false savior who consumes that which he should rightly safeguard. Yet, it need not be this way, Chief Sonu. We have the power to strike down this imposter, but we must beg of you an island to see it done. Boats against the Tempest, in vain do they struggle. Is it not she? Looks like her. <laughs> Purple hair does shoe. Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> Wait a second, I know you. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I don't like this plan. I don't like it one little bit, but I can't help being excited all the same. So tell me, Burr, are you ready to hunt the white whale? Yes. After you then, Burr, all aboard.
This is cool again. I was all, I was muted. <gasps> yes, we did it. <laughs> Woo! I liked that there were different, like you had to move. Like, uh, and it wasn't just one place. I liked it. That was fun. And a cool concept. I like that they change up the boss fights in that way. She looks so serious. A bad connection. <laughs> it's like, wait, are you going through traffic? I can't really hear you. You're breaking up. What is this? Can we summon the big fish now? Be fun. Or that's the key. I wish we could summon the fish as a. So falls the Lord of Mists, about. <laughs> as did all others before him. Shush, woman. How many times does this make, warrior of light? <sighs> ah, how much you have grown. Far beyond the limits of mere mortals. She has what we seek. That she does. The key to Azizla, and the secrets of Alag. I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength. Yeah, you think you could stop it for long? No way. I'm too perfect. <laughs> My thanks to you, Asian, and to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. Ugh, this guy, I just want to punch him in the face. Shave off those eyebrows. Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare.
<laughs> Seriously. Leave the bears alone. Poor girl's just frozen to the ground. It's like a magnet. By our deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim the reins of history. Where is, like, everybody else? Half and all and Sid and stuff. <laughs> like, where'd they go? That really means a lot, because I always am not sure if I'm improving at all. Forgive me, but had I known what was happening, mayhap I could have done something to stop them. Uh, what did you think was going on? You thought we were gonna have, like, a party? We were just having a little chat? Like, what the heck? What, what, what a dummy. <laughs> Alas, Wedge and I were still steeled within the engine room and heard not of the struggle until it was over. Likely story. And now, for all our efforts, the Archbishop holds the very thing we sought to keep from him. But all is not lost, for yet we live, and we know their destination. Let us give chase and bring an end to their machinations. Machinations. Hooray. Oh, uh, that was really fun. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video, because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you're interested, that link is below. And that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right. From uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.